This is the Short Action Customs Modular Action Wrench, and in this video, I'm gonna show you why you want it. Gavin New here from UltimateReloader.com. What I've got here is a bunch of barrel equipment from Short Action Customs, and this is stuff that I use all of the time in the gunsmithing shop and on the channel because like what I've got here, I've got a Terminus Zeus Action, and I've got all of the primary Creedmoor barrels you're gonna find here, minus 22 that is. So we've got six Creed, we've got 25 Creed, we've got six five Creed, we've got one Action. We're sharing these three barrels on this Action and, and switch swapping them all the time. So using a barrel vise and an Action wrench is, is literally an everyday thing. And we've got a separate video that's gonna cover the Bravo and the modular short action custom set of barrel vices. What I'm talking about in this video is the modular action wrench from Short Action Customs, which of course goes in tandem with your barrel vise. So over here, I've got some of the other action wrenches that I use on a frequent basis. I've got multiple of this style here, the external style, which I'm still gonna use for really, really heavily torqued on actions. Like if it's a factory action, it could be a Remington 700 or, or whatever, and you need like 200 foot pounds of torque to crack that loose, I'm still gonna bust this bad boy out. But overall, I prefer the internal style. Here's a Terminus, here's a Pierce Engineering for ti their titanium action that I have, and a bat. The issue with a setup like this is it takes up space in your, in your, on your bench or in your tool cabinet. And then also these can be about hundred plus dollars each. So you've got to spend that much more money each time. Short Action Customs has come up with a modular system that uses the internal surfaces of the receiver to tighten the receiver onto the barrel. And what it's got is it's got this bumper on the end, which is actually a nice contrast to the other factory internal action wrenches that are just stainless steel on the end or some other similar material. It's gonna protect the end of your barrel and the inside of the action just a little bit. So we've got these modular heads and these take up less space and are a lot less expensive. We can swap them out. Here's my Terminus three lug internal head for the modular action wrench. It's that easy now this is limited to 120 foot pounds. There's a little tag right here in the box. Now I torque down to 90, so that's clearly not a problem. And what we're gonna do is, this has the, the top labeled here. It's gonna go in, and you can see here that bumper is gonna bump up against the end of the barrel tenon. So now we can take a torque wrench. I've got a, an older snap-on wrench here. I've got a 5 8 inch socket. We're going to go right on the end and we're going to be able to torque that down uh, and either tighten the receiver onto a barrel or loosen the receiver from a barrel. And it's just that simple. So again, you're going to want to check out the complement video, which is going to talk about both the Bravo and the modular barrel vices from Short Action Customs. And again, you're going to see this stuff a lot on the channel because I'm really, really excited about this system. Now here's what I wanna know from you is, what do you think about the Short Action Customs modular action wrench? Are you using one? How's it working for you? Is this an improvement over what you're currently using? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.